Hi, I'm Ian Willoughby and I'm Environmental Coordinator for Dyson Farming. My job role is to understand the sustainability of the whole landscape of the farmed environment from our woodland, our watercourses to the crops that we grow. We're here at the Dunstan Beck. This is a demonstration of the crops that we grow on the heath which is a very shallow soil on top of a limestone bedrock. As the rain hits the ground it infiltrates through the soil and into the bedrock and then bubbles up as a spring into what is known as the Dunstan Beck. The Dunstan Beck has multiple benefits, increasing the amount of aquatic habitat, it has got species richness with the species that are associated with it and also the seasonally wet grassland. If we can improve water quality by growing cover crops, keeping nutrients within the actual soil, we can actually improve the water quality here in the Dunstan Beck. We sample water throughout the farms in Lincolnshire by looking at the invertebrates that are actually in the actual watercourse and this is an ideal way of understanding the water quality. This is the vetch and this basically extracts nitrogen from the atmosphere and fixes that on nodules in its root system so it feeds the oats. So this not only provides food for this crop, it also produces food for the following crop. So it's key to part of the crop rotation that we have on the farm. Crop rotation is key. If we grow the same crop every single year, you get a build up of disease. So we have a mixture of different crops after one another. It breaks that cycle of disease. So at the moment, this field is wheat. And then another year, we may have orchid rape, which is in the yellow flower, or we could have peas as well. So here we are on the edge of a crop next to a field margin and that is up against a watercourse. So this is protecting the watercourse against any activity that is on the field side. These margins also have a great wealth of insect life that shelter in the bottom of them. And they'll go out into the crop and actually predate or eat the pests within this crop. So if we can manage the pest issues by using the beneficiaries that live in these margins, we don't require to actually put a pesticide on here to control the pests. So that's great for the environment. So this is a lapwing. This is a red-listed bird. Having red-listed birds, which are birds of concern on our farms, is key. Birds are used as an indicator. So if the bird population is healthy and we've got things like the red-listed birds, it shows that we've got insects within the environment as well. So they're a great indicator species. I hope you've enjoyed looking at some of the sustainable practices that we've got through Dyson Farming. There's always things to learn and every single year is different, every single season is different. So it's great for us all to actually take that on board and actually learn for the future.